This is a uh, Canon 40D digital SLR, and on the front's mounted a uh, Raleigh 50mm HFT uh, manual lens with the uh, Raleigh adapter. The problem with this arrangement with this particular lens and quite a few of the uh, manual lenses is if this space is not exactly the right size you won't be able to achieve infinite focus. And I'll show you what I mean by that. If you uh, switch the camera to live view now I don't know how clearly you can see this but adjusting the focus on infinity and using the zoom on the, the digital zoom you can see that you can just about get to focus but you can't quite get it spot on and then considering I'm focusing on a, on a house that's probably 200 meters away it's probably not really enough to get infinite focus on a really distant object so it's quite an easy fix to do on this particular lens all you do is you wind the lens out to its nearest focal distance therefore the lens is furthest out and if you grab this ring it's quite tight give it a twist it will undo if you see this this ring undoes and you undo this ring and once this ring is undone behind that ring are three screws um, I don't know if you can see them here, the light's not great. There are three screws inside, let me show you with the torch. So on this outer ring there's three screws. There's the first one there. There's another one around here. And there's another one there. Where is it? There it is there. Now what you do is you loosen those three screws, you don't have to undo them, just you need to loosen them. To undo them about three or four turns, before you do that actually, turn the, fo the, um, the focus adjuster to its infinite position. Okay, so that's at the infinity now. And loosen those two screws off, those three screws off. just enough probably two, 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 three turns out now what you're going to do is you're going to reposition the the focusing ring of the of the, uh, fo the focuser to a different place of the barrel which will give you a little bit more focal range so what I'm going to do if you watch now just try and get a good focus on here I'm not going to twist the the barrel, I'm going to pull it away from the camera body. You see it's moved away slightly, and all I'm going to do now is going to twist the, while holding it away, twist the barrel slightly back towards the 10 meter mark. Not that far, and that'll do there. Let go there, and then re-tighten the one screw up will be fine. One screw for the time being, just to, just to test the focus, see if it's made a difference. That's locked the ring back into place again. So what I'm going to do now, Refocus again on uh, on the same building. Okay, you can see it's out of focus now. Now, hopefully, if I focus now, you will see it goes to infinity and slightly beyond. The camera's having a little bit of trouble focusing. There we go. So, maximum zoom. So there's infinity there, that's um, perfectly focused and it's just going beyond that now, you can see the softness coming. So that's the way to do it with this lens, um, it's more difficult on a lot of the other lenses, it's probably one of the easier ones, but that will allow you to achieve perfectly sharp images at infinity, as you see there, there. That's, that's in focus there, 
and it's just going soft there. You can see that on the aerial there. Um, and also it's important to keep the aperture wide open as possible because that will give you the shallow depth of field and it will give you the best results. But um, I hope that's been an interesting uh, video and uh, thanks for watching.